Hi, I'm Jung Wan, one of the co-founders of Illicit, and today I'm going to show you how you can pick papers to summarize in Illicit. This is a new capability, part of a suite of features we're launching called Notebooks. So now you can pick and choose which papers you want to summarize. Then I'll go into deeper ways to use this feature in a different video. This is part of a whole playlist of videos. So there are tons of other videos showing different workflows like chatting with your papers, screening and introduction to all the new features that are part of this Notebooks launch. So feel free to watch those and I'll link that as well. Great. So to get started, this is the Elicit homepage. You can start by searching for papers here and you can ask a question like, what are the symptoms of long COVID? And you'll see this table of papers that comes back. We actually will show you the summary of the first eight papers, the most relevant papers that we find. If you're an Elicit Plus member, you'll get eight papers. If you're on the free plan, you'll uh, only see four papers to start. Uh, so you will get this summary of eight papers by default, but now you might want to customize exactly which papers you summarize, in which case it's very simple. You can just pick a couple of the ones that seem interesting and then come here, add a new step and summarize abstracts for selected papers. All of the summaries are specific to your overall research question, which was asked here. And so you'll get a quick summary here specifically for the two papers that you selected. You can click into those and see what the abstract is and read the whole abstract if you'd like. And you can see if it's an open access paper, we'll have the full text here. And so just as a reminder, Elicit doesn't hallucinate any paper references. It doesn't make up any papers because we're just using AI on top of an existing database of published papers. And again, you can click a different set of two papers. Let's do three this time. Why not add a new step? Summarize abstracts for these. This summarization only summarizes the abstracts. Even if we have full text, we'll only summarize the abstracts. And again, we'll get a different set of summaries. So most likely the first summary will be enough for you, but you can see each of the summaries are slightly different and you might want to pick and choose. If you delete papers, you find that some of them are not relevant. You might want to update your summary accordingly. And you can actually generate as many summaries as you want and generating summaries doesn't cost any credits. It's completely free. So you can use that as much as you'd like. And again, here, just like in the first summary, you'll be able to summarize up to eight papers and four if you're on the free plan. Great. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. I'll walk through how to do more with the summarization in another video. Thanks.